Are you folks ready for round two? Yes! Some experiments? Excellent, that's the spirits, that's the spirit. Now over here, we have a container, and this has got the same fog in it, but it's produced in a different way than the fog we had before. That was made with humidifier. Come check this one out. This one, there's a little mist maker thing on there. It's a little ultrasonic beam, and it's aimed at the surface of the water, breaks it up into fine droplets. And then the fog stays down here because, as we've seen, it's a little bit denser. But if I was to take it to heat it up, if you take air and heat it up, what does it do? Hot air. Good. It's humid. Oh, it can. It can. Think about a hot air balloon. What does it do? Rise. Rises. And so if you take the air and you heat it up, it's going to rise. And so we're going to get the same thing happening here. So if I push this button, what happens is we turn on a very bright light bulb in the center. Now, most of the energy from that light bulb isn't light. It's mostly heat. So what's happening is it's heating up the center of this chamber quite a bit. And here comes the fog. It's starting to rise up. That's something we call convection. Oh, yes. Yeah. OMG. <laughs> and here go the swirls of the convection. And that's the warm air. We've warmed up that warm mist. And it's rising up in the center. And then it cools off. And look, it's like streaming over the sides of the container. Wow. That's weird. And this is a little shop of physics device we call the cauldron of convection. But we can do it on a bigger scale because we've got this huge fish tank right next door. Oh. In the fish tank, we've got light bulbs. And of course, most of the energy isn't light. Most of the energy is. Heat. Heat. And so I get toasty side over there. And then the humidifier, I'm going to pour fog from the humidifier in this side over here. So I'm going to have a cold side, and I'm going to have a hot side. And then watch what happens inside the fish tank. So we're going to pour in the fog. And the fog comes in, and this is going to take a second to develop. But what's going to happen is it pours in. Which way is it going? This way. Going that way. And it comes over here because it's going on, on the cold side. It comes over to the hot side. When it gets to the hot side, what's it going to do? Rise. Oh, yeah. It's going to rise up. And then when it rises up, it's going to come back over to the cold side. Here comes your cold air falling down. And we can watch it. Watch it. It's moving over this way. Rises. Rises. And then comes back. Then plummets. And then plummets. And then goes again. And then goes up. And this, this is how we get strong winds in Colorado. That's typically where they come from. There's one spot which is hot, and there's one spot which is cold, where it's cold, the air is sinking, and then it goes over and rises someplace where it's hot, and so I get this cycle. We call this a convection cell, and I'm going to have the air going like that. That is, look at those clouds up there. They're just going, like, moving over to the side and then falling.